Okay, it's June 28th, 2011, and I wanted to give you an update on Iran and their military in their military drills. Um, but first, I wanted to talk a little bit about my previous post. I deleted a couple of comments. I probably shouldn't have done that because I'm a firm believer in free speech, but so I want to apologize to the people that I whose comments I deleted, but I really don't want to get into this whole Israel's a Zionist regime or you can't believe you know stuff coming out of Depka files because it's ran by the Israelis or whatever you know I don't know if Depka files run by the Israelis maybe it is maybe it's not you know I'm looking at a CNN website here to give you my next update and you know they they should have had this thing on the front page yesterday about the unveiling of the website uh, of the missile silo but they didn't it, sh it should have been up here with you know shit like greek protest turned violent which is pretty bad in a you know in of its in and of itself but i'm not going to i don't know i just you know this is one other thing let's go to fox news you know they're not i'll bet you you know i haven't even looked at it today but I'll bet you nothing about the missiles. And I misspelled it. But I'd, I'd be willing to bet, you know. Let's see what we got. Oh, I'm wrong. There it is. Okay. They put it on the front page. Kudos to you, Fox, for reporting this. I'm wrong. I stand corrected. Let's see what NBC, MSNBC has. Um, hoping for the best blaze scorches the edge of the nuke site okay that's kind of important but you know my point is that you know you just don't know um, if you can trust these mainstream news media people you know sometimes they'll report this stuff you know, as, as because it's important, but other times they'll just, you know, move it to the background and hope you don't see it. Um, Fort Calhoun and the brat and the Nebraska flooding. You know, that's a perfect example. This stuff should be on mainstream media, but it's not. You know, it's not being reported. Anyway. <clears throat> You know what I'll do the Fox website because it's got a cool picture but anyway Iran our missiles can hit US bases let's see what they have to say about it you know let's see Iran can build longer range missiles this is out of Tehran a senior Iranian Revolutionary Guard commander claimed on Tuesday that his country has the ability to produce even longer range missiles than those currently in its arsenal. But Amir Ali Haji Zadeh, I don't know if I pronounced that right, commander of the Guard's Aerospace Force, stressed that Iran will not manufacture such missiles because Israel and U.S. bases in the Gulf are already within its reach. <coughs> You know what? That's a bunch of crap. They are going to build longer range missiles. Um, they just will. You know, that's what happens when you start on a missile ra missile program. You're gonna you're gonna escalate this stuff because sooner or later they want to have a threat deterrent. They want to have a valid threat deterrent to the United States. They want to be able to this is why they're going after nukes you know they want to have longer range missiles I don't care what this guard chief says to you they want to be able to hit the United States and 
places like the UK, you know, they want to be able to do this because this is, you know, this is mad. This is mutually assured destruction. Okay. So don't, don't believe that hype because it's just not true. Okay. The Haji Zadeh said the guards arsenal already includes missiles with a range of about 1,250 miles, putting Israel, U.S., bases in the Persian Gulf and parts of southeastern and eastern Europe within Iran's reach. The missiles, he said, were specifically designed for Israeli and U.S. targets. Iran's known missiles of such range are the Shahab-3 and the Sajil. I think I pronounced that right. Iran considers Israel and the United States its top enemies. There is no threat from any country to us other than the United States and the Zionist regime. <sighs> anyway, Haji Zadeh was quoted by semi -official, the semi-official Far News Agency. The range of our missiles has been designed on the basis of the distance to, to the Zionist regime and the U.S. bases in the Persian Gulf region. There, he just said it right there. Let's see. There is no threat from any country to us other than the U.S. and the Zionist regime, which he means by that he means Israel. Of course, they're going to build longer range missiles. That's that's how mutually assured destruction works. Of course, they're going to get nuclear weapons. That's the only way they can prove themselves you know they can say hey if you if you mess with us we're going to mess with you right back and we can do it it's the only way they can do it this is why north korea is doing it because they want to be able to hit the united states this is the only way they can try and stop the us from doing whatever it is the us is going to do you know this is this is what the cold war was this is what you know nuclear pro pro ah proliferation was so don't be fooled by that you know don't don't listen to this guy because you know this is a bunch of crap okay so let's go back to the CNN news article that I had up if I can find it okay they test fired 14 missiles today um, Following the unveiling of several missile silos Monday, Tuesday's exercises are in the second day of war games, codenamed The Great Prophet 6. Interesting name, considering um, President Ahmadinejad said that he had found someone called the Great Amir or something like that, the Great Prophet, and that was going to... Um, herald a coming chaos. You know, I don't, I don't follow that too much, but I, I seem to remember hearing about that that he had found someone called a great prophet, and that's sort of the equivalent to um, the second coming of Jesus Christ. Um, anyway. Iran's development of missile and nuclear fuel technology has led to UN sanctions and accusations from the United States that the clerical regime is trying to develop nuclear weapons. Iran says it has a right to peaceful nuclear technology, but the International Atomic Energy Agency says it can't vi verify whether Tehran's nuclear program remains entirely peaceful. You know, of course, they're going to use they're going to be saying that it's just a stall tactic they are going for nuclear weapons technology for all the reasons I just gave you um, again right now they have missiles that are capable capable of hitting targets up to about 800 miles away um, a range that would cover nearly the entire Middle East and part of southeastern Europe um, as a side note, they also launched their first satellite in 2009, which was done under the auspices of being able to 
predict disasters or um, rather, you know, they have a disaster network kind of like we have a early warning system for, you know, disasters. Um, anyway, I'm rambling a little bit. Again, I'm going to apologize to you guys who whose comments I deleted. I shouldn't have done that, but... Again, I don't I don't want to get into the whole, you know, Israel is bad or Iran is bad or whatever, you know. I just I were I report this stuff, well, I talk about this stuff because I feel it's important. What worries me the most is that, you know, this is escalating into a a war. That we're going to see a war and I just don't want to see people die, you know. Um I just think, you know, war's bad, you know. Um, okay, enough with the kumbaya crap. You guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.